Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa um, This is uh, Sheikh Mohammed Awo. Right now I'm in uh, Saudi Arabia. And I've been to a lot of places really. I enjoy this uh, Umrah so very much. Um, inshallah tomorrow I'm going to be going back to Mecca to um, finalize my, you know, the pilgrimage of uh, Umrah. What I want to tell the youth is that, I mean, make sure you, um, you know, you use your time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have, you have, you have this time already. I mean, um, we don't have time. The youths, a lot of people are saying that uh, I'm not going to get married until I, I build my house. I'm not going to get married until I have my own car. I'm not going to get married until I get, a, you know, I get a woman that, uh, you know, uh, that I'm sure I'm going to be living here for quite a long time. And a lot of them have businesses. This youth that I'm talking about, they have a lot of businesses, but they don't want to spend their money to come to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I think it's a, the, the more you delay, the more you never know what's going to happen to you. So the time that you have is today. Make sure you use your time, use your wealth, use your strength, use anything that Allah has given you, you know, as an amana to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't have time anymore. This is the time that we have. And so my advice to you is to, you know, uh, make it a point and, um, you know, uh, analyze yourself know exactly what you're going to do and um, make sure you uh, get to the right course. But sometimes people jump into doing things without them knowing exactly what they're doing. And in, you know, in, 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 in so doing, they begin to ruin their life. What I'm saying is that they end up doing something that is not consistent with what Allah has asked them to do. And the youth have uh, strength, they have time, they have energy, use it wisely and uh, achieve this dunya and the akhirah. Just like what Allah said in the Quran, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirah hasana wa kinna azab al nar. You know, fi dunya you get the hasana in doing goodness. Whatever you get, use it for the cause of Allah. In giving is receiving. The more you give, the more you receive. My grandmother just told me, she said, um, um, if a man stretches his hand and give, by the time the hands come you know, to his side, Allah is going to reinforce him with it. So the secret is that the more you give, the more you uh, get. And the more you think positively, the more, you know, um, whatever you think in come into play in consistent with uh, the love that Allah have asked you to do. I think uh, it's about time that I stop. The youths, I've been talking to these for quite a long time. I'm going to stop like this. I have a little qatar, so I don't want to talk too much. So I'm going to ask the, um, the cameraman to cut, it, to cut it. Hopefully we'll do that again tomorrow, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala.